Patricia. Special day. You have a visitor. Hello. I knew someone would come. Eventually. Dr. Bishop. Dr. Bishop. And you said this was... This was when... When, when did this The happen? incident on the plane happened four days ago. Agent Scott was injured the, the next day. Already indurated. Translucent, muscular tissue visible. On Scott, you mean, can you see through his skin? <laughs> yes. Oh, it's not good to see through the skin. It's, it's, it's tricky, it's advanced, it's like that. It's What's happening tricky. to him? Can it be reversed? What is it? They, they have this horrible pudding here. Butterscotch pudding on Mondays, it's, it's dreadful. It's Thursday. Oh! Oh, that's fantastic news. Institutionalized psychopath. Oh! What? What happened? Oh, I just pissed myself. Excellent. Just a squirt. Dr. Bishop? Are fiddling around with the seat warmer. Dr. Bishop, hello. I appreciate you coming out tonight. I've never seen a feature like this before. It warms your ass. Wonderful. There's something important. Oh. I've decided on the pancakes. Blueberry. Well, we shouldn't be looking for big events. We should be looking for small ones. Unintentional ones. Oh, come on! Damn it! Just a small discharge. Negligible compared to the voltage coursing through that elevator. I say we need to find this person, and soon, before he finds out exactly what he's capable of. Wool socks. I would still really like some gum or, or some mints. Thank you, Peter. Try 200 microvolts. Oh, look, Peter. He's talking to you. I suppose it's a good thing it wasn't attached you to your head. You think you can remove it? Oh, I'd be willing to try, but not here. My breath is atrocious. I had a fruit cocktail once in Atlantic City. Mind you, I'm not the fruit cocktail sort of guy. Tissue. Where the hell are you going? DNA analysis should tell us much. Excellent work, son. You may have found your true calling at last. Working with me. I certainly hope not. Peter, do you know what I've been remembering? Aspects of your childhood. That's charming, Walter. Blood samples are ready. Anything in there that explains those lacerations? No, I don't believe so. Typical medications. All of them surprisingly legal. So they wouldn't have harmed him? Uh, that is correct. Although, they could have been used as a carrier to transfer the, the foreign compound to the victim's brain. What foreign compound? Oh, didn't I mention it? Um, a synthetic in the blood, an ergoline derivative. Uh, perhaps he was treated for migraines, but it does not explain what 
caused these wounds. Coffee yogurt. The synthetic compound? Peter, when he was 13, all he would eat was coffee yogurt. Almost drove his mother to tears. Walter, that wasn't me. That was you. Oh. Hello? If that's Agent Dunham, tell her to bring some coffee yogurt. Your guide. Hold on for one second. It is also your tether to reality. You must focus on my voice, or you may risk being lost in the memories. Oh. oh. What? I just got an erection. Oh, fear not. It's nothing to do with your state of undress. You can simply need to urinate. That's good to know. Can you get it in the tank, please? Oh, yes. Uh, we're looking for an electric saw. Uh, preferably variable speed with an easily replaceable blade system. What are you cutting? Wood? Human tissue. Uh, flesh and bone. It's more sinuous than you may expect. It's really not that dire. Oh, actually, potentially it's far worse. Um, I think that the saw you're looking for is around the corner, next to the routers. Thank you. No need to call the police. This is fascinating. A security guard was killed, the surveillance cameras disabled. So what do we have? Nothing. This incident may be related to a recent series of bank robberies. This would be the third. All in Philadelphia? First was in Cleveland, the second in Baltimore. I was in Baltimore. I remember a woman with particularly large breasts. Each time, the only thing that's been taken has been a single oversized safe deposit box, all without so much as a breach to the vault. And the box is traceable. I have a call into the bank manager now. The who, what, and why? That's you. Just when you thought things couldn't get any weirder. Walter. Hey, Walter. Wake up. Walter. Walter, wake up. This is important. Oh. Oh, 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 do you two want to use the room? Walter, this is important. The numbers that you recite every night, what are they? Numbers? Every night you recite a sequence of numbers to help you fall asleep. 233, 377, 610. 10, 987, 1500. Precisely, those. What is that pattern? It's a Fibonacci sequence. You should know that, Peter. If you had stayed at college... Walter, not everybody knows the Fibonacci sequence. Oh, sure they do. It's a wildly famous mathematical sequence. Each number in the sequence is the sum of the two preceding. Including 233, 377, and 610, which just happened to be the numbers of the safety deposit boxes that were stolen. It's, it's fascinating. <laughs> but it's, it's a coincidence. It can't possibly be significant. This. Oh my God. What? The safety deposit boxes are mine. Love and happiness. Wait a minute, something going wrong. Someone's on the phone. Three o'clock in the morning, yeah. talking about how she can make it right again. Yeah. <laughs> happiness is when be time. you really feel good with somebody. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong being in love with someone, yeah. Nicely done, Walter. <laughs>